There's always that one kid. You got this kid with look with his nice fish. This one with another one. Ooh, and then this one <laughs> with with his. <laughs> he caught that with his mouth. That's at least the best one. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Jacob. Welcome to Kids Are Stupid. Where we're gonna be looking at kids who are stupid. And luckily, these kids they, we can't call them stupid for not investing in GameStop before it just blew up and everyone made millions of money because they probably couldn't invest. But, they're stupid in other ways, so we can make fun of them for that! Enjoy! <laughs> Super excited about my two-year-old telling me he hears Nana living in the walls! Oh, cool! He's saying hi to her! Oh, that's... that's weird! <laughs> when I was in third grade, I found a book called How to Speak Dog. I got excited and started reading the book. But someone told me that it didn't actually tell you how to speak dog. I didn't believe him and read all 300 or so pages and got mad when it didn't teach me how to talk to dogs. Th then what was the book about? Yo, know, you should sue them because if you can't speak to dogs now, eh, that's a fraudulent book. <laughs> Yesterday, I overheard my two-year-old son saying, Are you sure this is a good idea? And my five-year-old son replying, Trust me, and I have never moved from one room to another so quickly in my life. <laughs> you go in there, and it's probably fine, but just that thought of, uh-oh. <laughs> Welcome to Jackass. Okay, that is not a good title for one of these videos. Uh-oh. <laughs> what was that run? Look at the way you just... <laughs> It's so fast! My six-year-old brother's teacher asked the class what their favorite season is, and he said garlic powder. We've seen it before, you see it again, that is the best season. Yeah, winter, spring, autumn, summer, no, they suck. Garlic powder is what you like. <laughs> My five-year-old was overheard by his idiot teacher telling his friends I was a big robber with lots of guns. The next thing I know, the police are searching my house for guns and stolen gear. Uh, by the way, I am not a robber, nor do I have or keep weapons. Police were quite apologetic. <laughs> yeah, friend's kid did the same when he told the kindergarten teacher his dad had dead bodies in the car. Friend's husband owned a mortuary and had the contract with the country coroner to remove bodies from crime scenes. <laughs> I completely get like that's a job and that's the part of life, but can you imagine being like six, seven and seeing like dead bodies in the back of your dad's car? Like, yep, my daddy has dead bodies in his car. Like, I'd be just mortified. Don't take the puppy stick. This is why. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's deserved. Like, you took it from him, you get what comes for you, he won't do it again. At least he's happy. <laughs> Big emergency level bushfire in the Adelaide Hills, plus a watch and act warning for swathes of other populated areas nearby. Both warnings are current. Stay safe, everyone. All right, and then the bushfire, okay. We've evacuated, told my daughters, age two and four, to only pack what they needed and wouldn't want to lose. Amongst other things, I've just found rocks in the two-year-old's backpack, not even good rocks, and the four-year-old packed a framed picture of herself. <laughs> They have their priorities straight. I like how you got not even good rocks. Like, we know good rocks when we see one. <laughs> Once, I woke in the middle of the night to find my four-year-old son standing beside my bed. When he saw my eyes open, he hesitantly asked, Will you please come check my campfire? <laughs> Fortunately, it was still a rather small campfire, but I scrubbed kitchen walls for two days after. <laughs> okay, yeah, mm, not a good idea to do in the middle of the night. <laughs> My friend's brother talked her into jumping out of a second floor window when she was five. Oh, when her father found her unconscious, her brothers had already drew an outline of her body with chalk as a crime scene. She lived to tell the story. Gee, that is... that is insane. <laughs> playing the games of headbands, and my kid gets this. I am a rhino, okay? So the first question was, do I live in Africa? The kid? No. She's trying to throw you off, that's what it is. It's smart tactic to play the game. <laughs> My son was asked to combine two animals for his biology class. So he got an elephant and a duck. Introducing the elephant. <laughs> Technically, he's not wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Make sure you get this on camera, Dad. Ooh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> what did he do that for? <laughs> 
When I was five years old, I played with invisible monsters. These were my imaginary friends who would protect me as I walked around holding their hand. Neighbor Kid wanted one, so he traded me his Tonka truck for one of my invisible monsters. Mom made me give the Tonka truck back. Neighbor Kid was heartbroken because then he had to give the invisible monster back. New business idea to, to, to make infinite amounts of money. Sell imaginary friends to stupid kids and just profit. It, literally, there's two steps. You make an imaginary friend and sell it to someone, profit. Boom. <laughs> Alright, come find me, Dad. Bet you won't be able to. Ah, where could he be? Ah, it's just, he it, it must have gone. He must have been out of the house. <laughs> My son just got some juice out of the pantry. He waddled over to me, carrying this, asking for help. Come on, put it in. <laughs> I really want this grape juice, please. My wife took our cat to the vet, and my son told the vet his toy dinosaur was feeling bad. So the vet gave it an x-ray. Aw, oh, it, <laughs> it looks good to me, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with him. A free x-ray, that's, that's well good. My, mine costs like $300. <laughs> It's so hard to get out of this tent. Alright, one guy's down. Two down. <laughs> Three. Four. And then... Oh, okay, that kid did it on purpose. He was like, mm, do I want to be the only one? Nah, look at it. He slow walks up to it. <laughs> When I was in first grade, we had an art project where we were supposed to draw what we would look like at the age of 100. So I decided to draw a dead guy in a coffin. My teacher didn't find it funny. Well, your teacher is boring. That's accurate, right? I mean, most people. <laughs> Kids imagining what life would be like at 40. I am 40. I have wrinkles and gray hair, and I would have a walking stick to help me walk. <laughs> I am 40. I am turning old. I just left work because I could not manage going up and down hills. I know I will soon die. <laughs> I feel like you get to that point when you're like, like 15, 16, as soon as this is high school, it's just like, ah, oh, yeah, wrinkles, the walking stick, you just don't, how do you go on? <laughs> when I was younger, at about seven years old, I put a metal cup of milk in the microwave for a minute. Then I realized that the cup was getting hot, but the milk wasn't. So my seven-year-old brain said, do it again. And I put it in and microwaved it again, twice. I swear I was like one microwave away from a house fire. I, I'm surprised it didn't happen straight away. You got lucky. <laughs> Our kids' hide-and-seek game has elevated to another level. Oh, they're blocking a doorway. You can't find me. You ate a butthole. Mmm, yep, all right. <laughs> oh, and it was pillows. Oh, yeah, that's smart. <laughs> This is on a messaging app where we talk every day. Hey, you want to see a picture of your dad at work? And he sent a picture of himself. Who are you and why are you taking a picture of my dad? Or is it you, dad? It, lol, this is dad. Isn't this Facebook messenger where you can literally see the name at the top? <laughs> One day, when I was around seven years old, I got my times mixed up and thought the lunchtime bell at school meant it was time to go home. So, I did. <laughs> the school phoned my mum at work and the police. Search parties were organized and they had a helicopter looking for me. I was at home and had fallen asleep playing under my bed. <laughs> like, how do you just leave school when you're seven years old? How? <laughs> I remember one time as a kid, I thought my mom was driving too fast, and I decided that the only appropriate course of action would be to pull the freaking e-brake in the middle of the road. Oh, great idea, you know, backseat driving, but literally driving. <laughs> Name each angle. Sally, uh, Bob, and Olivia. Perfect. That, that works. Uh, yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll do it. <laughs> When I was a kid, I thought only smart people wore glasses. I told my parents I had trouble seeing, so they took me to the eye doctor and I pretended to have poor vision. I ended up wearing glasses I couldn't see out of for a month before I finally confessed. I was a total dumbass. Yeah, yeah you were, bro. <laughs> Have you tried wearing glasses when you don't need glasses? It's not good. <laughs> 
When I was younger, I didn't know Joseph was a real name. I thought it was a made-up name for Jesus' dad. It wasn't until I watched Wiggles Christmas, where the person who played Joseph was also called Joseph, when I went, oh, that's a real name. Best part is, I knew Mary was a real name. It was only Joseph who I was suspicious about. <laughs> like, yeah, that Joseph character, he's got something going on about him. I don't quite believe <laughs> 100%. End of the video, which means subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, get more videos. One there, one there. And, and like, and comment, and do all of the things, because then the algorithm, and algorithm's cool. If, if you can't, you don't. Click video. <laughs>